I've been buying these clothes from Scotty Vest. Uh, they might look normal to you, but they're uh, really for geeks because uh, they have lots of pockets for iPhones. And uh, uh, let's see, I think I have a lens in this one. So for photographers or people who uh, like to have lots of gadgets on them, uh, there's lots of pockets for all sorts of crazy stuff. And we're going to talk to the founder, Scott Jordan, uh, who started Scotty Vest right now. We're going to talk about hardware and geekery and lots of fun things. Who are you? My name is Scott Jordan. I'm the CEO and founder of Scotty Vest and Technology Enabled Clothing. And I'm an ex lawyer and have found my real calling in designing clothing for geeks and travelers alike. Yeah, and we're, I'm wearing two of your uh, pieces of this shirt, and, uh, which has these really nice magnetic pockets. So you put your iPhone in there, and then the iPhone doesn't fall out when you're uh, you know, doing stuff. All our stuff is designed you know, with a geek and traveler in mind. You carry a lot of stuff. How do you do it without you know, looking like a geek? And that, that was the inspiration for everything. Yeah. So you're looking good. That's a Cabana shirt and the, and the Fleece 7.0, brand new. Yeah, I got lots of lenses and stuff. If you're a photographer, this is great because you know photographers carry flashes and lenses and, and remote controls and all sorts of toys, batteries filters. And, yeah, yeah, there's lots of little pockets for batteries in here. So where did you get the idea for this company? Yeah, I was traveling as a, an attorney for a, a startup called Next50, a portal for seniors from Chicago. And I was traveling from Chicago to Princeton, New Jersey. Monday through Thursday, and a business casual environment without a sport jacket and a gadget guy. I had all my stuff and I was always dangling. And you know, this was before Bluetooth when you had all the hardwired headsets. And uh, every time I went for a hike, I would hand up more and more stuff to my wife. And she turns to me and says, why don't you just invent you know, some sort of jacket or vest that looks great, that has all these pockets that you can carry this stuff. And then one time I was walking by a doorknob, and this has happened to everyone at one point or another, and when my head set in, and it yanked, practically yanked my ear off. And I said, I've got to figure out a way to design the clothing to manage the wires as well. And that was 10 years ago, before an iPod was made, yep. before there was an iPod. And now Steve Wozniak, by the way, is on our board of advisors. Oh, that's really And a cool. close friend of ours. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, I heard you know more about pocket design than anybody else in the world. <laughs> that, that, is, that is true. And, and, you know, and when you think about pockets, you know, for the most part, yeah. pockets are kind of an afterthought to most clothing manufacturers. Yeah. They're just like, okay, you know, we have to put the front pockets on. But you know, I think about how are people going to interact with that pocket? You know, what items are they going to put in that pocket? Are the items going to be variable in size? You know, if the clothing is going to range from extra small to triple X large, but the items are only going to be the same size. And then if you're going to design something yeah. that you, you have to accommodate a variety of different smartphones, like that pocket, for example, was designed specifically for travel documents. Yeah. And as a result, we put a red zipper to make people aware that there's something clearly you know, um, secure in there, your passport, your boarding pass and the like, and a locking zipper. You know, uh, so and this is good for uh, that's good for business cards or your your ID. I or always put my memory card in there. Yeah, but I got like three memory cards for. Believe me. it or not, this I'm going to unload uh, shortly. But this is for your iPad. Yeah, we were the first company to make clothing that was compatible with iPads, and that was before the iPad Mini, by the way. So we have clothing that accommodates. This yeah. full, this holds, by the way, it does hold a full iPad in here. I put it in there, it's pretty I'll crazy. I'll show you soon, and it, it does. It holds an iPad mini, and then I put uh, uh, my Galaxy Nexus 7 in there, and uh, plus my iPhone, plus my uh, and, Samsung. And it balances the weight on the shoulders all, all the while. So you know, when you think about pockets, it's truly engineering. Yeah. I mean, I told you um, the pocket here you know, that we designed on the t-shirt that you were wearing the other day, the polo shirt. Yeah. It seems very simplistic, but if you think about it, if you don't have it supported properly, it's gonna pull the collar down and you know, it's gonna rub you in an uncomfortable spot. And there's really a lot that goes into it. And most apparel manufacturers are more concerned about solely fashion. They're interested in fabrics, technical fabrics, but they're in colors and things, but they're not truly interested in carrying capacity. And that's what we do. We apply all the, you know, the fashion. We go out and we buy a great looking jacket from the North Face, Mountain Hardware in this case, and, you know, a fleece jacket. And then we say, that's the silhouette we want. 
but how are we going to design the pockets around it? And like the, the sleeves are removable and making it really functional and yeah. you know, so. Yeah, so if it gets hot, you can take the sleeves off and, and still have all your gadgets on you. Uh, one neat thing that on this new fleece is you can put your uh, iPhone in here and, and still work with it. Uh, and it, you showed me yesterday. Siri's Siri works right through, uh, right through. So I can go here, do an email, press new, yep. and then subject, and then Siri. Can you believe Siri can hear from here to there and not make an error? Wow. And it works. Is that unbelievable? Works. So and, you know, I think that thinking about how people interact with their devices. You have patents on this podcast. Yeah, thing. we do. We have patents on incorporating wires and clothing. We applied for a patent on the, this particular pocket because I believe that you know, there's so much around people's lives around th these devices. And it's so disruptive, and I know that's an overused term in other areas, to, but to take your phone out, look at it, see who's calling, whereas in this case, I can see. I can interact, I can touch, I can be in a movie theater, I can be uh, at dinner without having to take it out and have my wife yell at me because I'm not paying attention to her. Well, she so still might, but you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get away with it a little. Soon a little we're going to have these Google uh, Project Glass wearable computers on, right? And they're coming out in the next year. And uh, that means we're going to have to look at our phones less than we do right now because they're always going to have a display surface on in our eyes. Right? And I think that's great. But you're, you're still going to need to carry uh, you know, additional power. You're going to need to carry a CPU yep. for it to interact with. So I'm excited about that. I'm a gadget guy at heart. I mean, ga I love gadgets. That's why I designed it. I'm not a fashion designer. I'm a gadget guy. They don't look very fashionable. No, <laughs> oh, um, no I, I take offense. At this. I mean, this year is, a, is one of our shirts, too. Yeah. And I went to Las Vegas, went shopping at all the coolest stores in Las Vegas and, and designed a shirt around that. And, and, you know, that cabana shirt, it's like Tommy Bahama, yeah. you know, which is what that's sort of based on, but with pockets that, you know, are designed to hold the things you would want to carry around. How many different products do you make at this point? There's probably 50 different items. I mean, ranging from a baseball cap to, to boxer shorts. Now, do you, can you put gadgets in the hat? Yeah, well, it's got a, a, little, a little side pocket here and a pocket under the brim. And it will enable you to wire your devices so that they're not dangling from. But, you know, um, you know for credit cards or a, a nano or something like that. But, you know, the boxer shorts, you know, people laugh at me on boxers, but I wake up in the morning, and yourself included. <laughs> my, my producer, Rocky, yeah. is laughing yeah. at Think about it. You wake up in the morning. What's the first thing you grab? I grab my yeah. iPhone, and I take a piss, and I make my coffee. Yeah. And, and I'm like, where am I going to put my iPhone? Sometimes I'd lay it on top of the toilet and it took a dive once. And now I've got a pocket for it, you know? <laughs> and it, it's awesome. But um, you know, we make. Well, I'm going to have a lot of imagery when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Scott in his boxers. <laughs> I actually I, I shot the video commercial for it in my boxers. Um, I worked out before I shot that, you know, not right before, but I lost the belly. But uh, so now a little too much imagery there. Yep. But, <laughs> but 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 we make we make pants. We make a full line of women's clothing. My wife Laura, she's also my my business partner, and uh, she's designing all the women's clothing. And we you know we have a, a kind of an affection to, towards the San you know, the San Francisco Valley and Palo Alto and Silicon Valley together with all the Apple. We have a huge portion of our customers shopping on Apple OS systems and and you know we really appreciate you know you know the tech community yeah. and we think of ourselves primarily as a tech a tech company that sells happens to sell clothing and you also can think of it too as a, really the beige box of wearable computers because you know you, where do you put all all your devices yeah. you, I can put a CPU in here called an iPhone or you know, an Android, that's a CPU. I can put an external power device here. You know, I can put another, you know, a CPU here, you know, and, and have them connected within the Garmin itself or via Bluetooth. It manages it to carry all the things you need to do. And we, we've designed prototypes for FedEx. Our stuff is being used by the military and Secret Service. Um, and, you know, we were the first clothing brand and brand formed on the internet in the year 2000. You know, there was no, you know, there were a lot of L.L. Bean had catalog and they moved into the Internet. But, you know, we, our primary distribution channel is the inter Internet, which yeah. 
you know, it was a long time to be on the internet. So. You're, you're a great marketer. I've seen you all over. I've seen you on Mark Cuban's shows, and, and uh, you're good at getting it. What's the secret to that? You know, I'm just really passionate about what I do. And I really just believe in what I do, and it comes through. And I'm really transparent. You know, um, I, I believe that's really important. I, I don't like to BS anyone. And, um, and I think when, when people like to know that if they're buying something, they feel that they know the person they're buying it from. And uh, I feel that, you know, if, I don't know, think, uh, think about if Calvin Klein had started his company in the internet day, it wouldn't be this mystical brand. You know, if you're a person, you can interact with. So I think when people go on our website, and they, they see me and talking to them and, you know, and videos and getting out there and doing things like this. And it just comes naturally to me, you know. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of kid me and say, you know, you just want to be famous. And, you know, I, 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 it's not about, about fame. It's just something that comes naturally to me. Yeah. So. Tell me about building a company. Was, uh, you've been at it for, what, almost 10 years now, right? Um, yeah, you know, it's interesting. It's, uh, I don't even know where to start. Um, everyone thinks that building a company, the hardest thing is coming up with the idea. That's the easiest thing. The hardest thing is the execution. Uh, you know, Tell me some stories of what, what's hard about making clothes. Cause it, uh, you know, we all wear them and we all think, oh, it's, it's well, so easy to make them. You just I mean, you know, if you start to ask someone, uh, you want to go into the clothing business and you start to ask someone, if, do they know someone who can help you? Everyone knows someone who knows someone who knows someone who's an agent in China who can get your stuff made. Problem is, is everyone in that chain wants a percentage along the line. So the, goal, the real, you know, and we've been really fortunate. I have a couple of really good agents and really good factories. And we have not had any, any real problems with manufacturing. And that is uncommon, especially, I've never been to China uh, to visit my factories, um, which is almost unheard of. I actually was in China in 1979 as a child, so I have a, I have a very different vision of China, as you can imagine, in 79 than where it is now. Uh, so, um, you know, I really utilized, you know, all, uh, Skype and do video recordings to show you know things that are you know, you know not just using YouTube or you know, you know before all these technologies have come into the true consumer place that they have been the moment they were available I've been utilizing them really extensively and uh, communicating with China to get it done so the, the easiest part of my business in fact has been the production side of it yeah. you know the design side trying to marry finding a designer who understands that it's not just what the clothing looks like but it's 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 the importance of this pocket for example needs to be this size even if it's a triple x large jacket and what does that mean you know so you can grade you know this whole space according to the size but this pocket can't grade so it's, it's really, if you see our technical drawings, they're really technical. So finding the right people, and that's been our biggest challenge, um, is finding the right people. We're located in Sun Valley, Idaho. And Sun Valley has a community of 5,000 people. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's like Aspen or Vail. It's just, it's, it's a resort community. And yeah. people kind of kid us that we're Silicon Valley in Sun Valley. Yeah. Because we have, we're growing by 100% a year. We're two years running in, you know, in, in the, uh, um, uh, Inc.'s fastest growing company. Where you know. Well, that's because we have more and more gadgets every year. We it is true. Convergence really hasn't there happened. Two pockets they ain't enough anymore. No, <laughs> it's true. You know, internet retailers named us consistently as, as one of the top uh, you know uh, companies, internet companies, and, and we're in some pretty fine company in that. So, but finding good people and nurturing those people and giving them a reason. I to imagine feel a lot of people in Sun Valley are into sn skiing or snowboarding, so they probably like like the idea of, of helping a brand around lifestyle, but they might not understand the geekery at all, you know? That's true. My wife is one of the few people in the world who doesn't have a cell phone, um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're not into the, the geekery, you know, much, no. But they, they're, they're into the lifestyle. They get the lifestyle. But, you know, if, for us, it's not, an, it's not necessarily, you know, uh, we're not trying to compete with Mountain Hardware you know, um, or spider, you know, or the, uh, you know, more travel clothing and geek clothing, yeah. you know, so. Well, I know photographers love you. I started seeing your uh, equipment on, on uh, or clothing on photographers first because photographers always have three lenses and a light meter and a flash and 10 filters sometimes, uh, plus 
you know, reflectors, and, and you can't, if you were walking around Yosemite, what do you do, carry a whole backpack? That's sort of. And that was the original inspiration for us, was a photo vest, when we started. I mean, you know, if you think about it, today's, you know, geek probably carries as much, you know, hardware as, you know, the, the photographer from, from 1979, you know. Um, we just wanted to do it without all those external pockets. Although the Evest 1.0, which is as it you know, was referred to, looked a lot like a photographer's, a lot of external yeah. pockets. And we've learned since then that the geeks don't mind being geeks, but they don't want to look like a geek. Yeah. You know? so, we want to blend in with society somewhat. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it was photographer's vest and fishing vest were, were our original inspiration. Very cool. Where else should we go? You know, I want to show you, I, I want, we're doing a, a, a fun contest. On, yeah, you know, yeah tell me about this contest. This, you, you go around the world and ask people to pull out all the, all the gadgets out of their... We uh, did this four years ago. Um, a what's in your Scotty vest contest, yeah. W-I-Y-S, yeah. you know, what's in your Scotty vest. And four, year, four, <laughs> you know, four years ago we did it and we got like 300 YouTube videos of awesome people just unloading and uploading. And some of them were hilarious, some of them were just yes. quite simply turn on the camera, start unloading. And this was, you know, four years ago before social media really started taking off. So we thought four years later, Let's do it again and let's see what happens. And you know, we, we had people pulling a dog out of there. Amy Tan pulled a, oh, you know, her little Yorkie out of her. You know, people pulled a, a tent and a sleeping bag. I mean, they, they had a lot of fun. So you know, I just want to show everyone what you can actually fit in a Scotty vest and still look great. Sounds great. So this is the Fleece 7.0. And it has, I believe, 22 pockets. And I'll start here. This is my iPad. All right, let's, let's make space. <laughs> Digital camera. Um, I've got poop bags for my dog. I've got a cord along with a, a cigarette lighter adapter. More poop bags. New iPhone connector. Yes, of course, yes. <laughs> that, that's that's like gold, too, yeah. because... I got uh, three of them. So. <laughs> I've got sunglasses. I've got my regular glasses. And this is the only... The only article of clothing that you'll ever find that actually comes with a map to show you where everything is located and how to work it. Yeah. So, um, isn't that cool? <laughs> so, moving over to this side, I've got my other 4S. I've got additional battery power. Got some more cords. I've got a plug here. I've got my iPhone 5 yeah. in the side. I, I met a guy from China last week. I, I interviewed uh, Liam Casey. He had three iPhones. He, and I said, why three iPhones? Why can't you just get one? He goes, one for China, one for US, and one for Europe. Oh, is that right? He had well, different SIMs in all three, three phones. And then it, just to have fun, got my <laughs> just a little car. <laughs> And my Bluetooth and the roof of my car that broke when I, when I put it there. I don't usually carry the car, I'll be honest with that. Oh, and um, some good old fashioned CDs. Yeah. The original idea for the company was never to make a single garment. It was to license the concept under the brand name Technology Enabled Clothing. Mm -hmm. I filed for a patent for the incorporation of wires in clothing. Um, which could be headsets or uh, you know, wires for power as well. And the idea was to license that concept to North Face, and, you know, which is VF Corporation, and uh, Polo, and Under Armour, and Spider, and all those you know, major companies which later subsequently infringed on our patent that we, and in a lot of those cases, we actually licensed them. So that was the goal is to license this concept to, uh, you know, because not being an apparel maker, but when I was having a difficult time convincing these major clothing brands, hey, listen, this is the future of, yep. of clothing and technology, and this is where it's going. You need to be on board. And with a, just a patent pending, they didn't have any respect for me. So I said, I'm going to form a proof of concept company, call it an awkwardly named company called Scotty Vest come out with one item and while I'm waiting for the patent to issue, you know, you'll be able to see what this can do to, to my clothing line. 
And lo and behold, Scotty Vest became wildly successful, and I sort of put the, the licensing on hold. Uh, in the meantime, formed this separate company to segregate the companies, much like Intel inside, or you know, there's a lot of companies that are, you know, have this, this ingredient brand, Teflon or Dolby and, and many other spaces. And, and that's actually what I went on Shark Tank to, to pitch, was the technology-enabled clothing um, story. So if pe people are a fan of Shark Tank, they might remember my appearance. I don't know. Uh, several people did. Uh, <laughs> they wrote me on Facebook yesterday and go, yeah, hey, I saw that guy on Shark Tank. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was a bit controversial. Very it was cool. Fun. Um, this is cool stuff. It, 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 I think, you know, hardware is interesting. I, you know, first of all, you can see how many more gadgets we have in our lives than 10 years ago. I, you know, 10 years ago, I can't. I had a BlackBerry maybe that I carried around. I didn't even have a digital camera back then, right? It was too expensive. Now I'm carrying a DSLR a lot of times. I'm carrying a video camera. I'm carrying uh, lenses and all, and, and all sorts of things like I, iPads. I, Trey Ratcliffe, who's a f photographer, carries a, a Nexus 7 and a, a Galaxy Nexus uh, phone. You know, so he can show his photography off, and he shows an iPad because he makes iPad apps. So, I mean, I, you know, all in jacket, right? Yeah, what I used to carry with me was a Palm Pilot, uh, one of those Motorola flip phones, and a DPC, which was a digital phone cord where you could attach your, your Palm Pilot to your uh, cell phone, and it would provide a, you know, a modem. To, and, and so what I would do, and then I had something called uh, fuel cells. So I would literally have my phone in here, uh, my, or my, um, my phone here, and then my um, uh, Palm Pilot here, and a cord going from one to the other, and another cord for power. So, and then headsets. So that was the, I was a true geek way yeah. back when, and that's, that's the core of who I well, am. Well, with this, these wearable computers uh, coming, the batteries are pretty good, but uh, you're gonna, for really high, high intensive uses, like if you're taking a, a lot of photos and a lot of videos, you're gonna need uh, external power. So I'm gonna be looking for a new jacket for the Google Glasses soon. Uh, <laughs> we, have, we have a large variety, so I'll, I'll well, look cool. forward to taking it. And it speeds up uh, when you're traveling. You want to go through x-ray, you know, you yeah. just take it off, puts right through x-ray, and a lot of uh, places limit the, the weight of your carry-on bag, especially in Europe. Yeah. So they don't, they don't measure the weight of your jacket. So, you know, we've done uh, a lot of sponsorships for what we call the No Baggage Challenge, and we've sent a couple around the world for 90 days with nothing, no bags, just whatever they put on themselves, and it's fun. It's crazy. Now that is crazy. It's crazy, I'm, I'm especially for the like woman. But I mean, literally, you know, a famous uh, author, Rolf Potts, did it. Um, he did it for 42 days. Went around the world with uh, for, for 42 days with just what he put on his back. But what I like is, uh, you know, these pockets have zippers, so if you have keys or uh, passports, it, they don't come out, and nobody can come by and uh, pickpocket you. And that's a big problem when you travel. You know, in, in uh, Paris, for instance, there's people who will. Uh, uh, hand you a ring and say, oh, we just found this ring, was this yours? And while they're talking to you, somebody will come along and pickpocket you. So uh, you got to be always, always we, careful. We have pockets right back here that are also patent pending, right under the armpit that yeah. you can put a cell phone, a wallet, no pickpocketer is ever going to get back here. And it's really a brilliant place to, to put a pocket because it doesn't print. Women can, you don't have to carry purses, and um, you know, it's just a great way to you know, think about how you interact with the stuff you carry, whether it be devices or poop bags, you know, um, so. What's, uh, just to end up, what's the challenge now? What, what, you know, you, you've had a company that is known and is getting known and taking off. What's the challenge now? The challenge is continuing the growth, and you know, we're, we're, we're doing about $11 million in business this year, and um, we you know, want to be a hundred, you know, we, want, we look at our company as a, an opportunity, just like, for example, Carthart. Carthart made construction clothing cool. You know, Lululemon, you know, made yoga clothing cool, but they've done it through traditional means by going to traditional retailers, and we're trying to do it through the internet. So our, our challenge is to, to get more customers, and we have a fairly awkward name brand, Scotty Vest, Scoot yeah. Vest, I mean, no one knows how to say it, right? So, and, and, and to, to continue building up the infrastructure, getting the right people. We're actually contemplating, you know, moving portions of our business, you know, to San Francisco. Um, not the whole business, but you know, um, that's the biggest challenge is how do we, how do we get the word out you know, and, and overcome that impression that just because 
clothing is designed for geeks. It can be great looking, highly functional, but also fashionable. Thank you so much. Thank where you. Do we, uh, where do we buy it? You buy it, thank you for asking, scottevest.com, S-C-O-T-T-E-V-E-S-T.com. Ray Cohen, you're on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, Google please, Plus. please friend me. I, I will actually, I interact with everyone. I answer every single one of my emails and, and I really enjoy interacting, so. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you, Robert. Thank you.